All right, two weeks old today. I'll give you another look. Not that it really matters, but they are getting a lot of feathers now. It's weird how fast they change from one day to the next. They're eating a whole lot more than they have been. Uh, I've been when I first got them, I was filling that food bowl up probably once every three or four days. Now it's about every day and a half that it'll go empty their water sometimes twice, sometimes three times a day. That little one right there is uh, probably the runniest of the three. Um, hasn't quite progressed the way the other two have. Uh, the other two are pretty brazen about jumping up on top of their feeders and then jumping up on the edge of the little brooder box. And maybe, oh, there goes one right now. <laughs> scoot back see if they'll do it. Oh, there goes the other one. Like I said, that one there uh, hasn't quite managed to figure out how to jump up there yet. Um, not sure why that one's a little smaller than the other ones. As far as I know, they're all females. I'm hoping they all are because that ends up being a male that's going to be fried chicken before it's over with. Uh, living in a city, it's uh, it'd be too loud to have roosters. So I'm hoping I looked at their wings right when I got them. Uh, it's about the only time you can tell is when they're newborns on if they are male or female. Uh, the black one is called a, a Rhode Island, and I'm sorry, a uh, Plymouth Rock or a Bard Rock. Um, she's probably the most active one, the most curious. So, anyway, just thought I'd show them to you. Maybe we'll get her to jump up here in a minute. And uh, I had to build another section that goes on top of this section. That way they can't jump out. Next month, I'm planning on buying a regular chicken coop to put out in the yard. Uh, it's kind of holding off for Christmas and give my kids something to do. You know, I'm, this is a food source, yes, uh, not the actual chickens, but for the eggs. And I figured it would be a good learning experience for the kids. Uh, kind of therapeutic for some of our foster children to be able to deal with animals. Good way to bond. Oh, jump back down. I was hoping she was going to jump up here. Anyway, just thought I'd show you. Uh, probably won't do another update until they're a month old, so in a couple of weeks I'll do another one. And that way you can really see how much they've changed. Because uh, apparently by the time they're a month old, they're, they've changed a lot. You know, like I said, they're getting a lot of feathers in. Getting a lot more of what their adult colors are going to look like. There's still some baby, whatever you call it, baby fuzz. Their little feathers uh, around their heads and some on their back and chest area. Uh, their tails are starting to come in really good. I know the lighting's kind of crappy. It's that red heat lamp. Uh, apparently, from what I've been told, uh, red heat lamps are better than white heat lamps. Uh, for some reason, chickens seem to peck each other more when there's white light instead of red light. And if they start picking on one particular chicken and it gets to bleeding, I've been told that they will attack it almost and just keep pecking it until they peck it to death. So, anyway, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, if anybody has any tips or anything that could help me out, I feel free to post them. Because uh, I could really use whatever I could use as far as somebody has some experience. Thanks a lot.